Hi guys, this is Troy from Australian Guitar Channel, uh, back again for another week. Uh, now this song has been requested a lot, uh, Razor's Edge by Goanna. Uh, I didn't realise just how popular it is, but I finally got around to doing a lesson for it. So uh, old school style lesson rather than one of these tab guitar lessons I've been doing in the last few weeks. So I hope you enjoy what I've done here. Let me know what you think and share, like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff and I'll get straight into it. I'll probably do the guitar lesson in another video, the guitar solo rather, in another video. Let's just see how the uh, this part of the lesson goes with the finger picking, or sorry, the broken chords and then the strumming. And uh, I might do the solo in future. And I'll see you next video. Bye. All right, so let's go through the chords that you have to know for this. Then we'll talk break down the actual picking. So the chords you've got to play are A, oh, sorry, <laughs> D, A, but we sometimes take that third finger off and do an A sus2, or put the third finger on the third fret on the B string. And then it goes to an E minor 7, which is an E minor chord with the third or the pinky finger again on the third fret on the B string. So. All right, so those are the three chords for the intro. So we're gonna start off doing a D chord, but take the second finger off and then hammer it on like this. Okay, you recognize that. Then it goes to that uh, A with the uh, third finger taken off and we pick the notes from the A string like this. Oops. So. That's what we do. Now when we go to the A, we kind of pick from the A string down with that, playing the A sus2, not the regular A, and then we go to that E minor seven, and we strum the whole chord like that. All right, I'll do that again. All right, that's the first little section. Okay, next little bit it does this. Third to the fifth fret on the B string slide, and then third fret on the E string. Okay. Okay, then after that it does this. Okay, so it goes from a D sus to a D. So pinky on the third fret on the E string, pulling off like that. And it just picks each chord now. So once I do the pull off with that, that one there, I do, I kind of pick all those chords of the D, all those strings of the D chord. And then again, pick all the notes, notes of the e, A sus2 chord. And then E minor 7, pick all the strings again. Okay, so I'll break it down from the first little bit of that. Okay. Sorry, do that again. Okay, next little bit, it does a D, but it puts the A on top, so it does that shape there. All right, second, third, and fifth frets on the G, B, and E strings. And it does a little, well, you could do it as a finger pick or a hybrid pick. We're well, gonna play that note there, and then open D at the same time, and then pick the chord. All right. And then when we get to the A sus2, we're going to do the same thing. We pick the A, but then play that E at the same time. So it goes. Okay, so D with the A on top. Bit of uh, picking. A sus2, playing the open E and then low A, and then picking the rest of the chord. And then the E minor seven. Now when it picks the E minor seven, it starts off with the uh, second fret on the D string and then picks the rest of the chord. Okay, so I'll do this bit, now maybe I'll slow it down a bit.
All right, and then we have the last little bit that goes up here like this. And again. And then goes into the strumming. So the shapes for this bit are the bottom of a D bar chord up on the 10th fret, but 11th and 10th on the G, B and E, G, B and e strings. And we're gonna pick those starting on the open D. All right. Then we're gonna go to a D shape on the 9th and the 7th frets. And we start off again doing that thing we did there. We're gonna do up here on the 9th and 10th frets where we go pick the pinky off like that. So, I'm just doing the bottom four strings there. And then the D shape, and we're gonna go now I'm going to do a little hybrid thing where I pick that D at the same time, like that. But if you can't do that, just pick that and then pick the rest of the chord. Okay, there I'm just going and picking the whole chord. And then I go down to the D shape on the 7th and the 8th frets. And I do it twice. And then he slides it up and does that D the last time and it goes into the strumming. So that whole bit. And then into the chords, all right? So that is really the whole intro. Oh, something going on there. Okay, so let's go into the rest of the song. So really, all you gotta know for these verses is this. Same chords as what we've just done. A down, down, up, up, down rhythm will work nicely. Down, down, up, up, down, A sus two, E minor seven. All right, now it does that four times in the verses. Now I'm also seeing him kind of add the little pinky on the third fret during the A string on the third fret of the B. E minor seven for two bars. All right, so one bar on D, one bar on A, E minor seven. Third time. And then it ends that verse with an F minor chord, all right? Not the F minor seven, do the F minor. And then we go into the chorus. Chorus is nice and easy too. Now I see on the video, Shane Howard is doing the G shape like that, which means he's done a drop D on that low E string. I personally don't really see the need to do that. You can do a drop D on this song. I say, don't worry about it. You'll still get it right. Okay, so I'll take you through the chorus now. Okay, so the chorus chords are G, A, B minor, G, A, D, and there's an E minor seven, 7 at the end. We've been living on the razor's edge. G, A, B minor. G to A to D. G, A, B minor, A, E. For e minor 7 for two bars. All right, that's the whole chorus. That's all there is. So, I'll do it again. A little slower. G, A, B minor. G, A, D. Two, three, four. G, A, B minor. Down to A, E minor seven for two bars. That's the chorus. Again, same strumming pattern. Um, same chords, really, except adds the B minor. And that is your chorus. All right, now that is all there is to the song. Just verse, chorus, in the intro, which I've done for you. Now, just the last little bit at the end we will do now. Okay, now the outro is just playing the same chords as the chorus, but just breaking them down. That's all it is. Okay, that'll work nicely. So just, I mean, I'm just picking the G, picking whatever strings I want.
throw that little pinky onto off and you've got it basically that is the song okay uh, I might do the guitar solo in another lesson let's see if you watch this lesson first I don't like to slave away on lessons that nobody watches uh, so let's see how this goes and let me know what you think thanks guys <laughs>